and I think we're live. Aha. Welcome, everybody. Veroslav. Yes. Pardon the pronunciation. Yes. Spinny, spinny, dig, dig. Welcome. And I think we're live. That's good. Just make sure I check all that so that we've got things unmuted and stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. Right, uh, back into it. So I haven't done anything since since last time, because uh, just busy doing other things. Just grab a drink of water. Oh, that's useful. Gravel ejector, event for safe weld, event controller for safe for safe to weld. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I remember that. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, a little bit croaky this morning. Uh, so, an event controller... Might just put in here. Uh, without pre crashing. Well... <laughs> um... Yeah, so I just recorded uh, close to home the next episode. I think it's the next. Yeah, the next episode, which will release on Saturday. Um, let's just say I don't think there'll be any crashing today because I've already got the crashing out of my system. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, safe to weld. Okay, so this wants Energy to be um, the piston. Piston position. And so that's fully out, but it could probably go like halfway. 50% would be past would be past this because that that's three blocks and that's past it okay so we make that 50% so we want select action have we got the welders in a group? yes we do so we can turn them on Make the threshold 50%. And then draw head push. Okay, so that's good. Uh, g'day, David. Welcome. I'm not seeing the surname on there, David. Is that the the regular David? Because it's got the purple regular David. David G. Um, okay, so I just sort of need to get my head into into where we're at. So. Progress timers, yeah, reset timers, assembler, assembler, light, light, testing components, oh, lights, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, tunnel lights. G'day, bud, welcome. Okay, so the gravel ejector can get built into this. Oh, look, we're missing a thing here as well. Not that it's super important, but uh, let's just... Europe, haha, okay. Maybe. Cool. That's good. Uh, just copy that. Right. 
<clears throat> so the gravel ejector we can put like back here somewhere um Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a good point actually. Hmm. I had a coffee not long ago, so I'm not due for a little while. Okay, so um, hmm. Yeah, I think I think I think I think I think. I think what I might do is just keep for today the gravel ejector separate. Um, I probably need some batteries on this as well, don't I? Do I have a battery on here? Guess I could check. Battery. No, it's on the it's on the main grid. Okay, so we need to put a battery in as well. So we could just poke that down here like so probably only needs I'll put a couple on put a couple on okay and yeah so the ejector kind of needs to be part of the, the base grid so I'll just leave yeah I'll leave that off for now because we don't really want it part of the projection when we're doing stuff I don't think well no we got that one up there we got that one there that's our base plate projection so yeah so that's fine um Let's just put it over here, shall we? So we'll go with... Okay, so you don't belong there anymore. These shapes there, which I don't think they're consistent down, but that'll do. And... Let's put a... Okay, let's do it this way. If we went... Put you in there. And then this this is the trick. You put that into the voxel, the ejector. One more block. No, 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 no. In the ejector. Let's do that. Fuel low. Let's get rid of that noise. Fuel critical. Tried the gravel shifter mod. 250 gravel gave two iron ore and decimal points of other ores are nice. Not bad. Use this early game for gravel. Okay. Might be quite a good one if you used it in combination with the um the no the no ores mod. The not the no ores the the no the 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 one that you put the stops the refineries from producing ingots. So you basically have to have to convert to gravel and then yeah right and then we'll put a. Put a sorter on here. Sorter, gravel, ice, ejector. And we want whitelist. And we want to put the anything we want to get rid of. Ice. And 
gravel. Oops, didn't hit it. Uh, and I might just put in scrap as well. Scrap metal. Okay, so that only needs to be whitelist. Doesn't need to pull it because we can use connector. Ice. Gravel. Eject door. Okay. Oh, maybe we leave it on the terminal. And collect all and throw out. Very good. Yep, that's awesome. Uh, we'll go for... stuff cool you know what I think I did wrong yeah <laughs> whoops did I get right on that one yes okay so that's that so this is connected so hopefully it's gotten rid of all the stuff so we've still got ice are we hmm are we not connected somehow use f8 camera and just check this out so that's connected oh that's not connected or is it no that's connected that's green oh hang on no that's not connected what Solved. So this is okay. That's because we moved the thing, eh? So okay. So that should go in there when it produce um, when it welds up. Hmm. Okay. Right. So that's should be getting rid of that stuff now that's connected that's all connected that's connected I do believe it's all gone. Yep. All gone. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Corbin Dallas Multipass. Welcome. Okay, so that's 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 good. Good, good, good. Okay, so when that pushes forward that will turn on. So I Yes, we are... Oh, I know what I need to do. Um, uh, I need to... Fix the, the, the thing on this. Um, because it's going to be out of sync. 
so it needed to be like an even 20 hang on uh, let's just sorry stand by I just need to check just need to check something was it was it YouTube comments or was it on Discord was you uh, must have been Discord uh. sorry stand by Yeah, it was uh, ex Xlander. Um, so the <clears throat> so we're out by point one of a meter. So this where are we? Okay, so the piston moves forward two point five at a time. And so we're doing twenty moves, which is fifty meters. And these tethers are set to eight point six. So we need them to be and then we've got those there that are so six of those at one point three, is it one point three? Yeah. At 0 0.3 that's 1.5 and so we need and these will add we need these to add up to 51.5 so 51.5 divided by 6 let me just get my calculator out 51 point five divided by six equals eight point five eight three 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 okay so do I just do them all that five eight three 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 will it accept that it probably will sort of um. probably what I want to do is have hmm Sorry, just need to figure this out. So if I had five of them going at 8.6, five times 8.6 equals 43, and then the last one would be seven uh, minus fifty one point five eight point five okay so if we have all of those ones at eight point six and the last one at eight point five 
that's the simple solution which now I think about it is a very simple solution and I did not need to spend the last five minutes dealing with that Ugh, maths yes <laughs> so that was that should now be fine okay so the tether the speed on this is how quick because we have tried that haven't we okay so the speed is 0.02 so the tether to get that 0.02 needs to be 0.02 divided by 6 uh, or does it So that pushes forward, and then when it retracts, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, because it can just move. So when that root pushes forward, we want to push that forward. Not much. Hmm. Am I overcomplicating this? Do I just simply want to have that rotor on here and do away with this piston and just push the whole thing? And then I wouldn't have to worry about the welders necessarily. Have I overcomplicated it? When I don't need to. What do we think? Get rid of that and just use this for the push and just do a single push. <laughs> Never seen such a thing. only thing would be if yeah no I think I'll keep it because then these I'm just a bit worried about these doing too much and going too far and you know the the more this pushes the the more chance there is for things to go a little bit crazy so that yeah okay that's what's the speed of the head rotor uh, I think it was like point half a yeah half a revolution 
Wait a minute. Which is... That quick. Because there's so many rotors, it makes it easy here. Yeah, just leave the pistons. Don't do unless. Yeah, I think I stick. I think I stick with the original plan. I think I stick with the original plan. Get something up front just in case you need to move the welder. Hmm. separate piston. Uh, well they kind of are. Alright. So the thing will be, when this retracts we only want these to go at the same speed as what this one is retracting. To push it forward at the same time. Yeah, that would be the way to go. So this one is going to retract. It's it's going forward at point zero two. So it's going to retract at minus point four eight. Because it, when you do it lower by half a meter a second, it, you know, positive point two will end up minus point four eight. So this needs to travel. At point four eight, when it moves, but that needs to be divided by six, which is six seven. so that'll be 0.8 okay so these all need to be 0.8 if I've got a group for those I'll probably do pistons tether so they want to be off <laughs> And be point eight. No, point oh eight. Okay, so they're point oh eight. The six of them add up to point four eight. When this reverses slow, uh, when this goes half a meter a second less, that will then make that point four eight. Okay, so that that works out. Caterpillar. Hmm. Right. I think I think that's that's in such a way now that we can sort of do the timers. Oh, I should have put that one up there. That would have matched. Oh no, there's a big thing in there. Okay. So, let's just do a little bit of greebling quickly. It's probably not actually, now that I've put them on there. Do 
we go. That one on the groove up the needs to drop down one block. Uh, I thought it was down one block. That one. That's the one you're talking about, eh? Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we're just ready to, to put the timers on. Which will stack them back here, shall we? We need to put a control seat on this at some point as well. Hmm. Okay, timer. Okay, so there's going to be timer. Drill phase reset. Uh, we'll just call this drilling phase one. Time of phase one. No, this phase isn't the right word because then we'll get confused with this. Oh, yeah, no, it'll be right. Okay, so drilling phase two, three, four. I don't know how many I need. Five. Six. Okay. Cycle. Good. Right. <clears throat> So, the first thing will be to make sure the piston drill head limit is on, because potentially that could be turned off, I don't know, but we'll just put it in here, and the same with the safe to weld should be on. The drill head push will need to increase velocity, I think. Uh, might just test that, might just test that. Let's put another drill in, a uh, piston. Call you test. Okay, and we'll get you going at point zero two. Okay, so you're just sneaking away. And we'll put you out to a maximum of two point five. Okay. That's good. Let's just use one of these timers, maybe. Okay, cycle six will do. Okay, so what we want to do is the drill head test. We want to decrease the velocity and we'll start number five. for reasons and then number five we will do increase velocity ok 
Okay. Number five will put out to uh, 30 seconds. So that's almost extended. What's the diameter of the bore? Uh, I think we're 20, 21? 21 blocks. Oh, it's actually wider than... Okay, so we might need to put another row of blocks in. Okay, we'll come back to that. Now. Sorry, sidetracked. Because that should be... Well, do they need to go right in? No, they probably don't need to go right in. They are touching. Yeah, they'll be right. It'll be right. Uh, so, yeah, width-wise is... Yeah, 21. Oops. Uh, and there's nothing, and that's just how wide I've made it here. But there's nothing. It's it'll be quite easy just to put on some more drills, put on some more welders, put on some more blocks if you want a bigger a bigger borehole. But that's sort of what I had on Hyphestus Prime, uh, and that was adequate for most things. Uh, right, so number six, we will just turn that to five and start. Okay. So this should reverse it to minus 0.48 and then after 30 seconds it should go back to 0 0.02 Don't forget the lights. Yeah, I'll put them on. a long 30 seconds there we go okay so that's worked right um, kind of do need a control seat somewhere oh, I'll just I'll just put one up on here for now I think Temporarily. Probably one of those cockpits is the way to go, but we might even do something like um, build a little control thing with toilet and whatnot. Okay, so timer. First of all, let's just delete this stuff off there, put the, sort of reset them back to default. Okay, so that will decrease the velocity, uh, increase it back up to uh, 0 0.02, and then we want the main rotor to unlock. Ah, oh, see, this is the thing. Maybe we don't use the rotor lock. Maybe we just turn it on and off. Turn it on. So let's go into the rotor and just fix that. Because the it's real pain. It's only got lock on off. It hasn't got lock on and lock off. That is a little bit annoying. Okay. I mean, all we need to do is just put some... Put a little bit of braking torque on. Okay, so that's on, that's on, that's increasing to move it forward. That's turned on. The drills need to turn on. Um think I'm missing anything else yeah so that's fine 
the event controller will turn on the next thing. So when the when the piston reaches two point five Go ahead, piston limit. Okay, so when drill head piston limit. So that will be cycle two. So when that reaches 2.5 it will trigger so this is the thing it just I just need to okay so it's already got one timer phase one group so it should actually be timer phase two group But it's phase one because that's got phase one single row mm, okay so we probably need to call that cycle two Do we call this one whatever cycle it is restart drill head that would make sense and that will still be cycle 2 because this one is cycle 1 going to reset the whole grid rig okay so when when the drill reaches 2.5 it will reset sorry it's my tracked Okay, so when the drill reaches 2.5, it will trigger both of these, but only one of them is turned on. And that's determined by where the long pistons are. So for a single cycle, once it reaches there, we want to turn the rotor off, we want to turn the drills off. Uh, the welders can probably stay on. Yeah, they can stay on. 
I'm just thinking about... Let's just get out of this. So those models are one thing, but I'm thinking about this one. Because when it resets... No, because that's going to be hovering over it. Okay, so that's alright. That's that's absolutely fine, that one. Um, so, single row reset. Needs to turn that off. Needs to turn that off. Needs to... Decrease the velocity. By half a meter a second which it's at 0 0.02 that will decrease it back to the other speed and then we want to turn the piston tethers on So the problem's going to be is if these get out of sync. Then it's going to push it too far. I mean, maybe it's just a case of we need a connector that when this pushes forward and the connector gets to the right place and it says, right, ready to connect, that that's a bit of a safety thing to make sure that it's not overshooting. Because the thing is, if this retracts... Yeah, it's, mm, it's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. So, I mean, that's... that's Potentially where just the single push comes in, but I'm just... Uh, no, we'll persevere. Um, yeah, we can put in a, a safety mechanism that it needs to actually lock so that would have to be on another piston because it would need to get out of the way okay we'll deal with that when we get there okay so whew, this is this is intense stuff so the single row Turn the tethers on. And we need to turn... Probably need to turn off the drill rig reset. Because we need another event controller that when it hits zero, that piston hits zero. So we're going to need another event controller, which we will put. Uh, we will put I don't want to cover up that walkway. We'll put in there. Okay, so which, what's that one called? Event control drawer reset. Event controller drill work reset. Is that the main one? Tether one, yeah, okay, so that's this one here. Safe to weld. Is there another one somewhere? Oh, it's right in the front. Ooh, ow. Okay, 
drill head piston limit cycle two. Okay. That's going to be cycle two. Piston reset. Right. And that's going to be cycle one. Okay, so the reset wants to be the uh, piston position threshold equal less than true head push add blocks select actions which is going to want to be cycle Cycle two. So let's just jump back up in here. So this wants to set up actions, turn that one off, turn the other one on, which when it gets back to zero. So if we go into cycle. Re the reset we want to turn that one off okay so we turn the rotor on we off we turn the drills off we retract the piston we turn on the tethers to push that forward we turn off the re reset I mean, I don't think I actually need to do these, but we will. Uh, that's not the right one. Needs to be... That one. Off and on. Okay. So that's that. And then when it gets back to... When it gets, when that piston gets back, that's going to want to trigger cycle two, which is actually just the the reset, the drill head reset. So we'll do the the restart. Which may need to actually. Check, I've got the tether ones on. No, I haven't got the tether ones on. So we need to turn the turn the tethers off again. Okay. So the the Oh gosh. Yeah, so that's what it needs to do. Just needs to restart that. I'm pretty sure that's everything. So just on a single a single movement, uh, it'll it'll start up by turning off the tethers, increasing that velocity. Okay, I think we're actually ready to give this a go. 
Just need to see what position and what speed this is at. Um, so we need to trigger as though it's reached its full limit. Save. Save, save, save. Okay. I think we're ready to give this a test. So that's going to be... Uh, not the restart. We want the reset. And I know it's trigger, but I'm just going to go and start. So we can watch. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, didn't do anything. Because it's turned off. It's turned off, that's why. Whew, okay, that's actually quite good. Because uh, the landing gears, the landing gears, the landing gears. Need to put the landing gears in. So the landing gears on a group. They're all in the group, I think. Landing gears. Ooh, just about forgot about the landing gears. Okay. So. The... Okay, so this is turning off the drills. Hmm. The landing gear. I didn't think about that. The landing gears. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so when the drills go, turns those on. That means the whole rig's moving. So the landing gears are unlocked. And then on the drill head restart, the landing gears are locked. Okay, save again, eh? Right, so let's turn you off and turn you on. Okay, so pistons reach its full length, starts going back. It's not moving forward. Why did they not... Oh, because you're still locked. Let's just give it a little bit of a... Speed up. Oh, and all those welded. Okay. Oh no, all of those welded. Turn the welders off. Welders off. Okay. Ooh. just didn't work because no why are they not turning on they are on Oh, they're on. Why are they on? 
If I got that around the wrong way, I might have that around the wrong way. Pistons off. Okay, so when we want to restart the drill head, those ones want to turn off. And when we want to reset the single row, we want those ones on. Oh, and I've got the landing gears around the wrong way. Because they should be locked. Drill head restart. So when they restart, they should lock. So it turns out on, that locks that. Yep. Yeah. And the reset should be unlock. Okay, let's give that another whirl. Uh... What? Why? Why did that not trigger? Oh, is it not in the thing? Event. Drill reset. Drilling cycle reset trigger now. That one is. Oops. Set of actions. Reset. Draw head start trigger now. Okay. Why did that not trigger? Did I get that event controller wrong? For the. that one there. It's on. So it hasn't gone all the way back. Why hasn't it gone all the way back? Because it can't? Er, can't. Okay. It's not all the way back. Okay, so if we put that at that. Okay. They just weld up again. Oh, well, that solves that. Now, that actually... That was a happy accident. <laughs> that, that was a very happy accident. <laughs> okay, so that's... Going the right way. They are locked. That's pushed forward a little bit. Okay, I think, I think we might be onto it now. Uh, is this actually eating stuff? No, we can we can go forward. Speed up the process this time. Fill all the gap. Just go to there because it's starting to get stone now. I was going at point three, wasn't it? Oh, it's almost there. It's almost there. Right. Yeah, these event controllers really. Oh, there we go. It's not moving forward. Why are you guys not moving forward? It was unlocked. Check those landing gears again. Okay, they're all in there. Why didn't you turn on? Restart. Pistons tether. On.
Do you have the auto lock off? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, it's off. Okay, um. Yeah, I don't get why it's not moving forward. Tell you what, we'll just... We'll just stop that for a sec. Uh, the... Oh! I know. Just, um... Everybody look the other way for a second. I don't want you to see this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, but the... Um, see, there's a gap in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this this is the projection over here. So you can see that the drill rig sits on top of the groove and it's only when the welder comes past the back you saw nothing no he 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 no, you saw nothing <laughs> uh, yeah so this welder when it moves forward will weld up the groove behind this landing gear um, I think yeah that mm, does it because it's not in there. Um, oh yeah, ignore ignore this. This this isn't here. This is because this is the reset phase. So it should actually be a different projection. I think. Um, hang on. Let me just. So that one turns on. Ah, we'll figure that one out later. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that projection. Maybe that projection turns on? Or, not sure. Um, yeah, we may have to deal with that one. Let's turn that back on again. Okay, let's give this another whirl. And those all turned on by themselves because the event controller turned them on, I do believe. So... Didn't really go as far as I wanted it to go. At least it moved this time. What did it get stuck on? The, do these need a little bit more power? I know I'm not running out of fuel, but I just fuel critical. Need to get rid of that warning. Do these need more power? Tether. Yeah, I think the welders want to turn off when it retracts as well. Let's just quickly pause this before it reaches this distance. No, it's still got plenty of time. Okay, so the timer... Single row... Reset... 
turn off the welders. Does that turn off so soon? I think one of these must have auto lock on. Auto lock? Auto lock on, that's why. told me to check it too and I didn't check it properly okay so this will turn on when it reaches halfway Yeah, see, we're a little out of sync. We're a little out of sync. Um, Cycle through. Can use it. To, oh gosh. Okay, again, it still didn't push. thing off Drink reset this is the world one here I think Yeah, if I can't get this, it's probably going to be get rid of the little short piston and just go for the for the long one, which would make sense. just be a little bit too hard. Yeah. 
it's just not doing it. These are all set to the right thing. Hmm, okay. I mean, that's resetting fine. It's just these pistons are not pushing. So let's just... Uh, let's just... Reverse this. So, if I unlock these, oh, see what's going on there. Keep locking. Oh, you still on order? No, see, so you're on order. You're, you haven't got auto lock off. What? Why do you keep locking? Hmm, I've had that before on one of my other things. Why are you doing that? Restart. Are you a station of a ship? No, 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 made sure that that's not a thing. I'm definitely a ship. That's why there's no merge blocks in this. Turn them off and just slide. No, a landing gear stays locked if and if you turn it off. So if I... If I lock that... And turn it off, it's still locked. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Um. I had this on one of my small grid ships. Okay, well, I think we're going to have to get rid of you. And we'll just put in a glass door bit instead. The wheels, maybe. Well, that could be a thing, also.
needs to lift up a little bit. That's a bit of a pain about that bug, and it is a bug. So I have experienced that bug before. I can't remember what ship it was, but I've definitely had that bug before. this up a little bit may work the welder can re-weld it. You don't want to weld. Okay, that's fine. He'll get picked up later, I think. Maybe, possibly. So, we'll give it another whirl. Those welders can turn on. Well, they are outside of it, but I, I, the thing is, I want the channel to kind of keep it uh, in the right place. Make sure it doesn't go a bit wayward. I thought I turned you guys off. Now it's working. Um, yeah, so now I've got the problem of this just not getting filled up. Which... I think we just put Yeah, 
because when that gets fully extended this one will go to the next one which is is it this one yeah so we need to put a welder uh, down here somewhere that's right that's what we needed to do that's not on the list is it no but that's what we need to do <laughs> cheers Jason yeah <laughs> long live with it here <laughs> oh we got there we got there we got there we got there okay so this will just continue to work through so we need to put the assembler on because we're doing creative mode at the moment Um, and there's really nothing to why are those welders oh because it turns it back on automatically that's because I was too smart for my own good okay so we'll turn the welders off so off so they almost want to turn on not there but well actually no that's okay they almost want to turn on when it restarts nah halfway through it'll be right See what happens. It will turn on. Because that would have reset. Yep. Oh, there you go. They just turned on. Yes, yeah, that's. I think they need to turn on when he gets further away. I think 50% is too soon. That would probably solve it. So if we made it 75%, I mean that's still going to give it, even 80% is still going to give it heaps of time. And then it would definitely be far enough away. could actually push the trigger okay well that seems to be working Yeah, I don't need to worry about this getting out of because this will be the, the doesn't matter if this is out of sync because the reset will be determined by this so that'll be the next thing but we've got time and we've got lots of stuff being produced that's all disappearing and then in here lots of stone okay I think that's working it's been a bit of a journey so the next thing will be to sort out the 
the reset timer for when it reaches the end of this. Um, and we need to put a grinder on here and a welder a welder on here as well to weld up the this I think yeah because when this gets to the final position where it'll lock and pull pull all this back then this will turn on and it will put all this stuff up here yeah that, that that's that's how that worked right okay let's just uh what i'm going to do is i will jump up into here and we can just uh, maybe maybe we'll get up here for a bit of view be a lot can see because i'm just going to take a quick break make a coffee and do some other stuff and i should be back in a couple of minutes still can't see there there we go okay back soon
Okay, I am back. I'm just eating. <laughs> I'll turn my mic off again. Right, sorry about that. Somebody buried this in the hill. Energy low. But I was trying to do it one handed, it wasn't working. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a lot easier. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Cool. Nuh-uh. Right. Um. 
No, it's not really an apron, it's... Whoops. Uh, it's... Uh, floor. Do we, do we, do we, do we, just for a little bit of interest? I'll just get some power. So that's. that's progressing. We're just about to do another cycle. See this. See if you get this working, and I personally think small steps is the key. Uh, if you get this working, then it means that those are going to have to go on the side of the thing. Sorry, just <laughs> this is going to have to go down the side. Just talking to myself. Uh, it just means that you can leave it, like I'm doing here with the lights. You know, you can just walk away from it, fly to another planet for a while. Uh, if you get it right, that's that's really the key. Um, so, oh, I didn't get any power, did I? Uh, the drills are going to stop when the machine moves forward. Could you just leave them on continuously? Yes. Yes. Um, the thing is that if I wanted to pause... Yes, I could. <laughs> I just, I just kind of turn them off. If I worked out a name for it, mm, it's, it's probably just going to be the bore, tunnel boring machine mark too. Sorry, bit boring. But uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I don't get my energies. So what I was thinking was. What if we went like that and like that and like that? But we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that could work. So what I was thinking is that if I went like this, just for a little bit of interest, okay so there's that one there, so if we made this one say Maybe just I'll make it twenty five. And then made this one blue. So I'm not gonna do a rainbow, but uh, I think just sort of a bit of a greater colour might be quite nice. Come on, turn on. So if I did that did that. Then in the middle went with more of a tealy colour.
might just create a little bit of interest. Just a little bit of a colour variation through the tunnel. Again, just to give people ideas. Do what you want. And you can always change them all back to white. Oh, I didn't put them on the... Just take them off the terminal. Whoops, I didn't need to put those in the middle. That one there that I just did. Got the wrong colour. Because that wants to be this colour. There we go. Yeah, might just give a few ideas. Uh... Chasing another. Although equals number of mats, the slope small grid block versus cube is fast to grind. Okay. The slope small grid versus the cube block. So, you're talking that one, the cube block is faster to grind. Okay, so you're saying that block is faster to grind than that block. Small grid. Large grid felt pretty much the same to me. Damn it, Elite World, a grinder though. Okay, uh, right. So that's getting there, which is good. Drill head seems to be working okay. Uh, let's put some lights back on, shall we? Number four full versus number four sloped. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was... Okay, I'll try a small grid. Um, and the fact that I've got a pretty good welder. Uh, grinder. No. Pass. Oop. That's the wrong thing. Uh, it felt to me like the... The half one went quicker. Okay. So that's good. Okay. I think this is working. Yeah. So I. I don't think that one needs to be part of the rest of the welder group. So this is going to be welder... Uh, umbilical 
connection. So I think we can take you out of the group and keep you keep you special by yourself. So we'll put you in there. And we'll take you out of the welders. It's noticeable to see you. Okay, I'll um I will try that. Okay, so you're now by yourself. Because that's gonna want to go. when it resets when that one moves up to here that one will turn on the projection will end up underneath this and that will okay so that's good um, and yeah we're gonna need to put a welder in here yep 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 so let us go it's working Put. We'll just put a block here, shall we? Maybe, maybe, maybe one of these blocks. Okay, and put a landing gear. Fingers. Okay. So, um, So, what I could do is, if I put the pist, oh, the, if I put the drills, I'll use a, I'll use a, I'll use a timer. Uh, if I did the. I do stop or start so stop turn those off turn the rotor off turn the piston off Shall do on off fuel low. No, I won't. I'll do off fuel critical. And 
and then we'll do the start no, that's fine and then for the start we'll do same again on do the piston on, we'll leave the welders those on and I'll just set it into these timers has it missed a row for welding? Ooh, yes it has why has it missed that? That may be because okay, let's let's use our new timer to stop it. Uh, wherever it is. Okay. Um it's not creative mode. Yeah, I'm still creative mode. Okay, why, 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 why? Okay, let us I wonder why it missed. Bit of strange, because must have been when I was mucking around in regular mode. Okay. Let's go and do the... Do it from up here so we can see. Uh, let's go into the... Okay, so... The, we will reverse okay drop faster than vanilla mm, shouldn't should just be the same Maybe 80% was the wrong move. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of a hand. Why did you start up all by yourself? You didn't. Okay, so they are going the right way. Yeah, sometimes you just need to give it a little bit of a a little bit of a nudge to give it a hand. Uh, let's put... A, one of these up. 
yeah, again, I've had that before where welders in creative mode don't weld up stuff unless you actually just give them a little bit of inventory just to give them a head, a head start. Put a red button there will do. So that's going to be... Stop. And that one's going to be start. Did I do stop stop when I wanted to actually trigger stop? <laughs> okay. Let's make sure you guys are going the right way. Yep. Okay, and that's just because that's the that's not welding up, so that'll that'll we'll pick that up later. Same on that side. I'm sure they won't fall in. Um, now that start stop timer, I think what I want to do is on this one here, so turn the rotor on, drills on, increase velocity, okay, so that's where we want to turn the start back on, and the stop drilling on. So that when it's in reset mode, it doesn't. You can't turn it off. Because that will muck things up. Off and off. Okay, and the rig reset probably wants to be the same thing. Drinking coffee. So the maximum that we're going to on this was 8.6 and we're at 7.2 so we've only got three more pushes. Right, all done. Um, I'll just sort out that hydrogen and stuff. either. Okay, so let's just stop this. So that's, I think that's sort of why I wanted to have the pistons and uh, the drills and stuff stop, is that potentially this is how you pause it. Um, yeah. I think your days might be number three. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, so that's that. We want to... Okay, so when... Let's just go back and... Sorry, I'm all over the place here. All over the place. Okay, we can get rid of the gravel ejector because we've done that. Progress timers... Yeah, we've sort of done that reset timer. So that's what we're up to now. Reset timers, assembler, lights, testing, component required list. Yep. Uh, and plus Izzy's. So, yeah, that's. We'll set up Izzy's so that it has the set amount that you need for the whole, um, the whole projection, as it were. 
Uh, Xbox won't be able to use it, but we'll figure out some other way for Xbox. Console, console. PlayStation as well, let's not forget. Um, yeah, we'll need some lights on here as well, of course, but we'll come to that. Uh, so... So the restart drill head. Okay. So the timer rig reset. Let's just go. Uh, we'll get rid of all this stuff, this clutter off here. Set. So we've got that. Okay, that's right. When that reaches its full thing, then the next time to reset will be this reset. Okay, so instead of doing this. will do drilling rig presets phase one phase one rig reset oh okay nice I've already got that <laughs> okay let's just and so far all that does is turn off those timers okay So, this will trigger instead of, instead of this one. We'll still need to decrease the velocity. But that's the difference there. So, do one of these... Okay, so we need to turn that reset, uh, the piston reset event controller off, because that will trigger cycle two. Okay, okay, I get this. Um, so cycle two needs to turn this event controller back on. That drill head. Safe to weld limit cycle. Turns it off. Okay, because that will turn it on. Okay. So So that one turns it on but we actually want to make sure it stays off because we don't want it to do we don't want it to trigger anything so even though it's already off we're going to say uh, piston reset trigger cycle 2 we want it off still we want to re decrease the velocity So the large, the largest penguin. Yeah, I know, I know about the largest penguin that used to, well, sort of. Uh, this is New Zealand recently. Yep, I remember that in the news. Then ancestor, of course. Except for South America and Antarctica and a couple of tiny islands near. Silly icons.
Except for South America, and it's hard to get a couple of little tinies. That's far away. So there is, of course, the th the thing about how island populations end up with giganticism, is it? Okay, so that stays off, that reverses. We need to turn on... We need to reverse the tether, and we need to turn it on. Um, but first we need to do the grinding stuff. And the welding stuff. So actually, this rig reset is is going to be phase two. Phase two rig reset. So, yep, that goes off. That retracts as normal. These ones don't want to do anything though. Okay. So the projector group. That hopefully so if I was to weld you you should be off in the blueprint but are you both in the group Yes, you are. Okay. So we need to turn... The first thing we need to do is turn the new projector on. And start that number three so we'll make that like 20 seconds we'll give it a decent amount of time so we want to turn on the main group because one will be off the new one will be off and we turn them both on we want to turn on our special little welder friend we want to turn on the grinder as well So that's going to weld up all of that. We want to lock the landing gears. And start... Phase 2. And we just need the grinder on there. So that is going on here. So we need to put some blocks on here just to join it up, like so. We can get rid of you, and we can put you on there, and then a grinder on here. Uh, 
Well, actually, the grinder could probably just... Oh, no, but we'll put it on here. So, it shouldn't grind itself. Okay. So, that will turn on. Do you need a welder on the back? Yeah, I do need a welder on the back. Because when this one turns on, so if I turn this one off, then this one turns on and see it fills up this. So we need a welder that can uh, that can weld this stuff. Which Yeah, which is this one. I mean we need we need another one that comes out as far back as on, on a on a pipe that comes out to here. But yeah that that one that one That could turn on when the timer triggers. Uh, this one here. Hang on. Uh, oh, this one here. So we could put that and turn that on then. That would work, because that's going to be in the right spot then. Ah, okay. Uh, but we still... Still need one at the back that'll do the first bits. We might need to cross that bridge when we get to it, but I think that's what I want to do. Unless it doesn't actually matter. this one can just be on the whole time because that's going to move up to there when this resets and comes down to here yeah I just need one further out the back or do I? no because it's no that just needs to be on when these ones are on or all the time pretty much that can just be on all the time Gotham is the meanest penguin. <laughs> the one that got he got pushed out of a window. Did you see him on the uh, on the what was it the Oscars or the Grammys or something the other week with um, Arnie? Having a go at Batman. Um, yeah, I think that just wants that one wants to be on most of the time, pretty much. It just stays on. So we could put that in the start stop. So that one, we'll remove it. And we'll just add it into the start stop. What was that? Start or stop? <laughs> uh, off. Okay, we'll turn that off. And start. Yeah, I think I think that'll do it. Cause then when So when that gets up to here it's gonna weld that. And it will have welded this already as it's gone past. Yeah, so I think I think that's actually gonna work. Okay. So back to the reset. We need the grinder on there now as well, which is this one here. 
on. So that's going to grind down this. Which... We can do now. I mean, it can pretty much do it when it gets down to... It can, yeah, it can pretty much do it when it gets down to... Um, there. Is there actually anything stopping... Yeah, no, it needs to be, needs to be done now. Okay, so that turns on. Okay, and then number two, it will turn off the grinder. We need to unlock the connector. Just doesn't seem to have a name. Connector tether. to be uh, that needs to unlock the tether needs to turn on and it needs to reverse Okay, so, stage one turns off the stop timers, turns off the reset so that nothing happens when the drill head piston returns that two and a half meters, uh, it returns that drill head, it turns on the new projector, it makes sure the welder's on. That should actually already be on. Locks the landing gears. Starts the phase two, which is 20 seconds. Turns the grinder. I think 20 seconds is too long. I think it only needs to be 10 seconds. Turns on the grinder, which will grind down the projector. And then... So we'll make that 10 seconds. Wait absolutely fine that one will turn off the grinder uh, no we don't want to do that we don't want to do that we want to unlock that and then that will bring the tether back in Uh, I think we want another event controller for when the tether is back to zero. When the tether is back to zero. Or do we do it connected? ready for connection probably ready for connection and that can start a timer and if it's not ready it can stop the timer okay so we need another timer cycle 3 
So that will be s phase three. And that can be just like three seconds, that should be enough. Even two seconds would do. Okay, so that one's going to get turned. That can, yeah, we'll make it three. Or even make it five. Five would be fine. So we want a event controller that recognizes whether this is ready to connect. But it needs to turn on when it comes back because there's a bug that even though it's connected it thinks it's ready to connect. So we need another event controller which we will put right in there I think. So this will be event controller So this is going to be tether, connector, safety. Start. So this is going to be connector ready to connect, and we want that one there, add it, and the actions will be to start, and if it's not ready, stop. And that wants to be turned off, and we want it to turn on when this reset is going so this will turn on and I might just rename that on so that's going to be tether safe to connect Okay, Whew. this is stretching to warn of imminent collisions with the ground, lol. <laughs> oh, g'day Uncle Jay. Um, bear time, oh, it's only two in the afternoon. I've got my water. Okay, um, so that will start and stop that. Okay, so that's good. So then in the, the reset, we want to turn off the safe to connect. We want to lock. We want to turn off piston tether, we want to reverse it um, and then then I think we're ready to restart And I'll just make that two seconds. So I think that's it. So we've got two more pushes. I think we're in a position. Save. I think we're in a position where we can we can give it a go. I don't think I've forgotten anything. 
Well, I don't know what I've forgotten, so I'm, the only way I'm going to know if I've forgotten something is if I just do it. So that'll take a little bit. Um, yeah. We'll just keep an eye on these, make sure that they do their thing. Uh, then we're going to have to work out what... what one of these actually takes. So we've got one of these called, these are called half slope. Okay, let's, let's make a bit of a screen, shall we? you've welded so that's good tidy up those ones it's not progressing because the reset wasn't turned back on start single row reset why did you not trigger I suspect it's because this is turned off Trigger. Okay, you're on. Yeah, it's definitely the thing we need. Why did that not? So that should have done the, the... Oh, hang on. Did I... Oh, no. Uh oh I think I know what I did. Draw a preset. Uh... Triggers. Oh, I think I... That's rig reset. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good thing I saved. F5. Ugh. I know what I did there. I need another timer. Need another timer. Urgh. Okay. Alright. Um... I'm going to put it. I guess I put it up here. Okay, so this is going to be called what it was called before. See, I should have, I should have called them, you know, what's that? Oh, I could use that one. That one's free. See, I should call them Spear. Okay. Um... So this is going to be... Cycle. So 
So vent controller, piston, reset, trigger cycle 2. Trigger. And then we need the... This one here. Where's the one that says... Okay, so that's as far as that one goes. Cycle 2. Safe to connect. Drill rig reset. This one is going to be So we want to toggle that block on, but not that one, not the, uh, yeah, the rig reset. Cycle one reset. Okay, so that's fine. So that's all good. And then we want... Let's just go back into this. So, trigger cycle 2. Phase group 1. Phase 1 group. So that's both of those. So if it's a single row, it's going to be decrease velocity. So we want to increase it. We want to turn off the pistons. How did I get that so wrong? Okay. Because that... Yeah, I don't know what I did there. Okay, let's... Uh, this is cycle. But see, that's cycle drill head restart. So that turns them all back on. So when it reaches that, it cycles number one. Cycle one. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So cycle two is when it's what? So. When it reaches 100%, it's all pushed out. It triggers the phase one group. And the phase one group... Is either the rig reset... Which we've worked through or it's the cycle a single row which turns them off brings them back so that's the start so so when it gets back it should just start that one Yeah, okay. 
So when it gets back, unless there was other stuff that needed to happen as well. Reset trigger cycle two. Yeah, I think that's what I did. I just put in the cycle two timer, I put the restart. Drill head. That's probably what I did. So that I could use this for other things as well. But really it just it just needs to be that. Don't think there's anything else. Let's just give that a go and see what happens. Phase reset. Restart drill head. Okay, I think that's potentially it. Um, yeah, okay, we'll just save that and we'll let it go again. almost there So good. Okay, well that worked. Energy low. So now we just need to lead it to another push. Let's just grab a nice big screen. Okay, so the first thing was... So we got the half slope, which is 22 blocks. 22 steel. Uh, the half slope, which is 4, and the half slope convert light arm. What? Hmm, they're both. Oh. Yeah, they're both half slopes. I mean, that's like a three quarter slope. We'll call that a three quarter slope. Okay, so. Um, text. Right, so three quarter slope, twenty two steel, and how many are there? There's forty of them, forty times twenty two steel, which is going to be eight hundred and eighty. Equals eight hundred and eighty. Think. Okay, and then a uh, quarter slope forty times four steel, equals one hundred and sixty. Okay, and then we've got the half slope 
blobs, uh, the half blocks. So they're 12 each. Uh, yep, sweet as Uncle Jay. So they are, so there's 9, 18, times 20. So that's 306, 9 times 18, so 170, 162, hang on, <laughs> okay, so uh, 9 times 18 times 20. Ugh. There's 360 here. Uh, and then there was 12 each. Times 12. It's 4,320. Okay, so half clock. 360 times 12 still equals uh, 4,320 okay let's just get those oh look that's they've welded themselves up you should be turned off though it could cause problems if it's not So we are just about there, I think. It's almost there. You are eight point two seven. Energy two seven. So, you know, let's just stop this. So, which one is on now? Single that's on, rig reset is off. Okay, so potentially after the next one. The thing will be to make sure that on the reset it actually the, the pistons go all the way out. So that probably wants to be number one just to make sure they're fully extended. They should be but we should make sure So this is a spare one. So if we did number one rig reset. So I'm going to change that to four. Three. <laughs> I said three but my finger was in the wrong place. Two. One. Okay, so in that group was it? Phase one group it wants to be that one. And in the timer trigger next push. Remove and put the one in there 
Energy critical. Toggle that off, toggle that on. Okay, and then we'll need to fix that in the one of these resets here. one is it? Is it that one? Single row reset. Next push. Oh. Uh, Not that one. Okay, how do these reset themselves then? Um, oh, there we go. That's how it does it. Normal single welding. Sorted. Okay, so rig reset one needs to what does number two do? need to do that I can just use this one I can I can just use this one I can just put it in here so they're unlocked uh, we can turn the tether on and we can extend it and I didn't need to do all that nuts So that's going to be one. No, oh, I need to put it all back now. Two, three, and just looking at this tether. So that wants to be retract. Okay, and then rig reset needs to be, I assume, they're off. And that wants to be extend. Okay. Yep, so that's fine. We'll just need to change these back again. Ugh. Uh, spare, so we want... Uh, off. And we want next push. Reset. On. Okay, so that's... Got that, and then just the group. Time of phase one group. Which is. Not that, but that instead. Okay, we got there in the end. Woo, gosh. Okay, so that's. That should be fine. Okay, what I'm going to do is. I'll just make a new blueprint of this. Okay, 
and we'll put it in here. Projector. No energy. What have I got to? Oh, because that one shouldn't be. Yeah, that's correct. Turn that one on as well. So we need to put the blueprints in both. Not sure. Blueprint. Uh, what what did we call it? Uh, no. Uh, template. I know where I could look. Yeah, template. Floor. again for next time I think maybe possibly rename yeah because then when I put it in here it should be all good so what I'll do is you are okay so you are on what I'll do is I'll just get rid of you I'll redo this one. Projector on floor, and then I'll redo you, and you should be off. But you're on. Why are you on? I don't want you on. You should have been off. Don't get that. should be off. I mean it was off there. Oh, unless it's projecting that one. So does that one need to be off? Off. That was a problem. Right, we need to remember that. Okay, and now we've got lights. We've got lights along there, so that's good. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I think... Fuel low. I think we're good to keep going. So I'll save again. Just in case it all goes wrong. Fuel critical. So, just get rid of that lady okay so that is just about there it's making progress okay making good progress
Okay, it moves along. Yeah, okay, so this is this is working. Right. I'll just uh just put myself here. And yeah, I'll just be back in a sec. Um, yeah, okay, so that's back to this stuff while well, that's doing another push. Uh, so we did those, we did that. Uh, lights, how many lights are there on each one? One, two, three, four, yeah, four, eight. Each of those has three construction components. Um, plus these ones here, which is more. Okay. So lights. Uh, what did I say? Eight times three construction components equals. 24 light blocks uh, so that was whoops times 2 Something's not going right. We'll just see what it does. Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. I know what it was. Uh, it was that the reset will be turned on. Timer rig reset off. Oh no. it too much do they need to be threshold 98 do I need to make that 99 
is it that I didn't get that group right? No, I got that right. So you're off, you're on. That's at 96. I think it might have just been that. Yeah, let's try that. I'll save it again. I think it might have just been one push too soon. But then why was that still continuing? What? So that does that, so that's all fine. And it starts phase two, which is that and that turns on the safe to connect. Okay. So that's working. something a bit screwy in there but that's not grinding so that means that's fine so now does the next push phase one reset okay so that's on that's off okay so next time when the piston Reaches that. Hang on, let's let's just stop this again. So when the so this time, when it reaches the limit, it's going to trigger the group, and that group will trigger. The rig reset. And that will toggle off the cycle piston reset, which is that one there. We'll toggle that off so that will not restart the drill head. Shouldn't. So it should toggle that off so we'll turn the projector on the main platform the Energy group. Low. it will decrease the velocity on the drill head push to reset it turn on that phase 2 rig reset start That will start 10 seconds. That will do all of that. that, and that, and that. Fuel critical. So the drill shouldn't be restarting. Until it's connected. What was that thing doing? Safe to connect. Oh, 
I think it's that one there. I think maybe it started the reset. I think that was the problem. I think that somehow needs to turn on a little bit later. So we could put the delay so we could we could make that a timer start okay and that one is going to be the uh, safe to connect on and yet yeah, 10 seconds should do the trick set up actions safe to weld safe to connect on so that that should oh hang on that should be off it is off okay that's good uh, we'll just make sure that it's sensing the correct connector umbilical tether yep it is okay so I think you can save and let's Fuel low. get this going and stop making that noise lady Fuel critical Okay, so that's getting there. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So hopefully this time it should all work. Yeah, I think that was a problem. It was probably a bit slow going from there. It's probably indicated it was ready to connect. So we'll just keep it on at this time. Let's just about be there. Okay, that's working. That's grinding. That's turned on. Oh, the drills haven't turned off, I think. Okay. But is that actually... Okay, so it's just the drills haven't turned off. Okay, so that's fine. Rig one reset. So we want... Yeah, the drills aren't there. That's the only problem. Okay, so that's what tripped me up. Yeah, I could really do with making this a little bit quicker, actually. And that's just momentum, I think, spinning that round. Or is it? Is it actually on? Oh, it is on. Okay. We just forgot those things. Reset. Uh, and the safe to connect... So let's make that, I think, it's going to have to be longer. I think 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. So that's not actually ready to connect. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Hmm. Okay, so it wasn't quite fully extended before it resets. should be unlocked so it should still push all the way out hmm I don't get that because that should have been all the way out it should have pushed it is there any reason why it couldn't push it got stuck it got stuck those welders needed to be off Okay, F5. So we need to make sure the welders are off. Okay. So, yeah, I was just about to say we've got fuel issues. Fuel critical. Okay, so we don't want that welding up. So on the rig reset, we want to make sure the umbilical connections on, but those. Yep. Yeah, so we want to make sure that the main welders turn off okay then I want to do the reset 15 seconds just give it a bit more time and we want to what was the other thing uh, oh the Reset one. The drills as well. Drills off. Rotor off. But that wasn't connected. I don't. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, let's save that again. Give it another whirl. things go Two point five. OK. 
Okay, stopping, turning that on. Did it. It didn't weld up that time. Okay, that's ground down. It's moving back. Did it fully extend this time? No, see, I don't think that's in the middle. Oh, I don't think that's in the middle. Okay, I'm going to reset that. I'm going to turn off the next one. The reset number two and just see what happens in regards to are they fully extended. Have I got that right? So let's go into there and the rig reset. So that does that. That pushes the other ones out. And we'll just make sure that those are in fact unlock. And number two I will turn off. Because that's the one that turns off the grinder and stuff. And let's just see where the position of these pistons are because they should they should fully extend it so that this is fully extended by 20 meters that's how it should work but then we'll just need to check is there anything preventing it from actually moving forward because that'll be the key making sure this tether is 20 meters and that way it um It'll always be right, sort of. Okay, so that's working. Welders are off. Let's ground that. So... That's... Oh, it is a little bit back. So the question is... 8 8.5... 8.6... 8.6... 8.6... 8.6... 8.6... 8.6... Okay, let's just double check our sums. 8.6... 8.6 should do it on this computer so you can see what I'm doing. So 8.6 times 5 plus 8.5 equals So it was 43 plus 8.5. 51.5 and our minimums whoops 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 our minimum is let's just check the minimums on each make sure it is 0.3 oh that's 1.8 it wants to be 0.25 as the minimum That's the problem. It was my maths. Oh, here, here, here. Damn maths. You may have got me this time. So, is that what's actually in here? Yeah. So, it's 0 0.25 times 6. Right. I think we're right now. I think we're good. So, we can turn you back on and you are looks like you're doing stuff okay it's coming back did that just get damaged oh that got damaged 
Why did you not lock? So yeah, I just damaged it. Um Piston, tether. It should have locked the landing gears. Should have locked the landing gears. So we'll sort that out. We're getting there slowly. I'm running out of things to go wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so that one wants to lock the landing gears. Lock. And then the pistons. Oh. 0.25. Right. Save there. Keep that going. Okay. What I'll do is that piston. Get out 2.5 and then I'll stop again. Do another save. Just so we don't have to wait so long if we do it again. Okay, so yeah, I think we should be good this time. Yeah, because that probably would have got damaged because it was all a bit skiff. thing. Let's ground that down. Didn't damage this time. Because it locked. Tempted to try and speed that up, but <laughs> don't think I will. Because it's only going to do it every so often, so. So even though these are not filled in at the moment, that's because we're just getting started, but this one will fill in as it moves forward. So, oh no, hang on, that's... You still need to be turned off. Hmm. Oh, did I not update that maybe? Maybe I didn't update it. Maybe I did it and we're going to reset the game because, yeah, you want to be turned off. Okay, that's where it was before. Okay, that 
was far too long. Uh, so that's the lock, yep. So that only needs to be like five seconds. It was pretty quick. And we're away again. Off we go. So the next thing will be... Did you get... Okay, you got welded, so that was good. Um, so I'll just stop it there for a sec. Turn on the projector. Um, off on floor. So that should be the correct projection in there. I guess we'll know next time. Um, We can know now. Oh, floor. Okay, so we get rid of you. And you're off. Okay, so yeah, it must have just been not right. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, I guess we do some more bits and pieces now. We'll just let this go again. And we can get on to building some other stuff. Get back to our list of things uh, start um, so where were we the lights ah oh, see I didn't yeah okay that's what happened um, okay so the lights were lights uh, was eight Times three construction equals twenty four, and then block lights times two uh, and that's gonna be oh hang on, that's not that's not what that says. Block lights Okay. So they were. Hang on, I just need to check. Whoa! Hold. Just need to check that the grid's reset. So, number one is off, single row is on. Okay, so that's worked. Oh, it's already going. I'm going to have to put a, a welder on back there. So we can put a T junction in here. I thought it would get it, but no. I thought wrong. So that'll be able to go in the same group as the grinders. That's... Is that pushing a little bit too quick? Yeah, I think we're going to have to slow this down a little bit. Is doing a little bit of a wobble. 
So if we were to slow that down to point So then the other ones are going to need to be pistons. Okay, uh, this is just going to take some brain work. Maths again. Ugh. Okay, so 0 0.015 minus 0 0.5 48.5 um, it would probably make it easier if it was 0 0.016 minus, not divided, oops, 0 0.016 minus, point, oh that's not what I wanted, 0 0.016 minus 0.5 okay it's going to need to be 0.4 yep that'll work okay so so the pistons they are going to want to be velocity 0.8 0 0.081 times 6 equals 0.486 and then 0 0.014 minus 0 0.5 equals the same amount okay uh, drill push Velocity, that's probably the best way to go. Turn that back on. And then it'll just be better for it, I think. Okay, uh, so that welder can get added to the other group. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, to the other group. Uh, welders. Add that one. Okay, and that should do its thing. Right. Okay, back to what we were doing. I was just looking at this, and I think I might put some plate under there. What happened? Okay, well, hopefully that worked. Um, yeah, okay, we'll just let that do its thing. that will turn on at some point sneeze coming all right that's better out than in okay so that's good
Still boring. Unfortunately, we're just at that stage where it's very monotonous. Trying to get stuff happening. But I have... Uh, I think it's working. I think it is working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, Taco. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, sometimes these sorts of things... Okay, that worked. And these welded up as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, some of these sorts of things. Um, and you can see why I haven't done this project for quite a while. You know, even though I think it's probably well overdue. Because it was like about three years ago that I did the other, the other one. Um... the original but I think this is going to be better but you know a little bit of effort at this end and it means that this can just keep keep going you know it's um and yes I've got a round drill head but there's really nothing to stop you putting on whatever type of drill head you want to put on um, there's nothing stopping you from putting whatever floor you want on. I mean, you could make this a fully lined tunnel or something. You just need to adapt the blueprint. Um, just updating the new machine. Yeah, so what I'm doing, uh, Uncle Jay, is getting rid of the merge blocks. So this is done with, yep, it's it's updated with the the new um, event controllers, which makes life a lot better. Um, but it's replacing the merge blocks with actually having the projector on the base. It's also laying out the conveyor system so we've already got the conveyor system in here that's part of the projection and it's remaining tethered well the old one was as well but it's pretty much remaining tethered so that you can get all of the materials that you want because what have we got in the way of materials so far I mean you know look at that we've got nearly 400k so yeah so it's it's a mark to it's an upgrade learning stuff um, because the merge blocks increasingly people have been having problems with it not changing back to a ship after demerging um, which is a problem I've been having lately with some of my other drills like uh, escaping the desert I had that problem with some of the drills I was doing there um, so I think that's maybe just a, just an update problem so yeah so that's that um so <laughs> back to this what do we need we need uh so construction components is going to be 20 interior plates is going to be 40 and steel plates is going to be 20. so uh construction equals was 20 I think uh, steel equals 20 and the interior equals 40 oh, I'm not sure if I got those around the right way so that'll be for the lights Uh, no, not not that. I th I mean, that's probably the way it was meant to sort of work. Yeah, that's the right way around. Okay. Um, and it, it might have just been a a little a little thing, something that just sort of happened on the side that wasn't meant to happen, a side effect, and just a, something that doesn't really affect most people most of the time. Uh, what do we want? Okay, so steel plate, 150. Connect 
uh, steel one five O. Computers twenty, motors eight. Computer twenty. Construction components forty. Uh, what have I got this other wrong way? Twelve. Construct forty. Was it forty or was it twenty? Forty. Okay, might well, just need to make those a little bit smaller. Ooh. So then we've got 19 conveyor parts. 19, that's annoying. Oh, and then there's the half ones down the middle as well that I didn't count. 17 of those. So conveyor pipe. So actually what I might do is, yeah, so the half blocks, there's another, there's another 17 of those. So that'll be 77. my calculator. So it'll be 377 times 12. Four, five, two, four. That was correct, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. Um, to give us some space. Oops. Quite wide the screen, isn't it? Okay, then it's conveyor. Uh, times 19 yeah so interior plate is 14 We'll do it now since I just clicked on it. 14 times 19, 266. Oops. And it was construction. Is 
20. I've actually got that written down next to me. <laughs> this because from close to home. I've got it written down next to me. So, uh, motor is times six equals. Uh, that's going to be fifty hundred and hundred and fourteen. Is that right? Six times nineteen. Don't know my nineteen times tables. Yep. Okay, uh, construction is 20 equals, uh, that's going to be 380. Yep. And small steel tubes times 12. Uh, so that's going to be 228. Okay. And we've got a conveyor junction times one. Don't know what's in those. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Jay, for the reminder. Um, okay, so I'll just scribble this down. So interior plates is 20. Uh, construction components is 30. Uh, motors is 6. Small steel tube is 20, and hang on, interior is 20, motors is 6, oh, construction, I've got them around the wrong way, 30, uh, 20 small steel tubes, yep, okay, that's good, right, so, uh, And so the junction twenty equals six construction equals. 30 small steel tubes equals 20. Right. Nice healing. No. Okay, so that's got the conveyor. It's got the connector. It's got the junction. Got the lights. Got the light blocks. Got the steel. Don't think there's anything I'm missing. Yeah, I think that's quite cool that light in there. What's given me the inspiration for the for the light is um, the uh, B1M channel, engineering channel, and he recently visited uh, not Iceland, um, between Iceland and the UK. Um, not the Shetland Islands, the other ones, <laughs> the other islands that are out there. Um, 
and yeah, the how it's all they're connecting it all by big um, tunnels, underground tunnels, the islands, and they've got a roundabout that's under the middle of the ocean. So yeah, that's it was pretty cool, and yeah, that's that's got quite a nice little light around the middle. Plus, we got the cable car in Wellington that's um, on actually on on the intro to my videos. Um, oh, there goes the tree. Gone. Uh, that's got that's got a magic tunnel. Yeah. You yeah, know he's he's pretty pretty good that um, B1M. It is annoying though how he slips in his blimmin ads in it. You don't even realise until you're halfway listening to the ad. <laughs> he's very good at it. Fuck. Yep, that's right. Thank you. The Far Cry Islands. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. So that's that's fresh in mind when it comes to these lights. Yeah, and I think the blue would be pretty cool. But you can do whatever colour you want. Just change it on the projection. It's all good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's that's working. It's working. The system works. Okay, and that's not causing too much of a trouble. So what we could probably do is start doing some stuff. So I think we might risk putting that down there. Ooh. I mean, I've got my jetpack, I'm buzzing around doing that. So we'll get some stuff happening, and then we'll actually put it into creative mode. Uh, cosmic Donut, I didn't see Cosmic Donut today. Could be wrong. Uh, no, I don't see Cosmic Donut here today. Okay, so... Moved. <laughs> Just does it by itself, it's awesome. Okay. So we got that. Hmm. Would be good to have a little corner ladder. No. A uh, corner um, piece. So we can go corners. I think there's a bit of a gap in there, stuff. Okay, but that's working quite nicely. Oh, we are missing. We are missing a block there. Why are we missing that? down long enough. That last little while we've got a lot to do. So that's... Okay, so that's maybe just been a bit impatient. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't didn't do that a little bit. There'll be a reason for it. Okay, so we need to put in uh, a assembler. need speed modules on it. So probably Fuel low. out the side. Just keep her quiet. Fuel critical. Get some energies while I'm here. Yeah, 
Yeah. There's one doing the rounds at the moment. <laughs> one one bridge failure that's doing the rounds at the moment that I can think of. Let's just have a look underneath and see what. So that's So that's pretty nice under here. Yeah, that's good. No, I'm liking it. liking that. It's working. The system is working. Uh, right. Yeah, and I don't think the fact that I've slowed it down a little bit by 25% has really affected things. It's still just ticking along quite nicely. That's filling up, that's filling up. Okay. So, where were we? Um, assembler. So, potentially we could put it... on here we could just slap it to the side there maybe that's not an assembler that's normally where I keep the assembler but that's not the assembler that one there what do you think of the lazy draw mod the lazy draw mod is that that new the one that's on the front page of the of the workshop you mean um, da, 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 da. you mean this one I've already got the nanobot drill fill system on um, my other play the the areas at war Probably that's the original mod. Yeah, I've already got that one. Zap Zap Lasers, yeah. So I've been using that one to carve out the um, my base. Not Nano Zap Zap Lasers. Oh yeah. Same diff. Okay. So I'll put those in there. So we, let me just go into F8 and just see where. So we're coming up on that projection there, which has got the connector. last time so that's that's fine so when that gets up there it'll weld up the projector and this one gets here it will turn on and it will turn on the this block here yeah, yeah okay that's that's yeah it worked last time it's gonna work next time awesome that's just a bit skew if because we've got the strange things back here but that projector is actually pretty good I think uh, projection I think that projection is working we just need to make triply sure um, but yeah, so that's, that's good. Oh wow, this, I mean look at it, it's, it's doing it, it's doing it. Awesome. So we need to put in, is that where I want that or do I want to raise it up? Urgh. Nothing in there yet. Nothing in there. Okay, I might just move it. Oops. I think maybe it wants to go... How about we 
put it around here. Like so. And I can put a block on it. Yeah. I'll do it that way. Uh, six. Will that keep up with what's required? Because it is drilling pretty quick. Maybe we should put two on. Yeah, I think we put two on. And yeah, that's going to have to change. Um, so I think. To, I mean, they will go pretty quick, but I think two to be on the safe side. Like so. Um, well, actually, now I've done that. Change my mind again, because that's what I do. I'm going to worry about the one underneath. I'm just going to put the the thing, the what's going to call it that is. I'm going to put you on there, so they'll just have three speed modules each. You can go on there. Okay, because there's a button panel there. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. So then we go with the speed modules. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, except not you. Whoops. I mean, it was a good time to save. <laughs> uh, just picked up the red planet based unknown. Had to merge up with no cargo. Yep. 
Yep, yep. So, just picked up a red planet faced unknown. Had to. It had a merge block, but no cargo. Uh. That's was that the the red one that's kind of pyramid shaped. So that's the, that's the, so it's pyramid shape now, but it was, um, it, it was, that's right Uncle Jay, um, it was hourglass shaped, but that one drops off the bottom bit and just leaves the parachute with the, the button. And you'll find that there is a big pile of space credits somewhere else <laughs> that you need to go and pick up. <laughs> so that's what that one is. That's a space credit. But it blew up in midair and the space credits all went dropping down. So there'll be a big pile of them somewhere. Okay, uh, that's good. I need to put... Um, build... Uh, what's his name? Um, Aziz. 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 Easy how this just moves underneath it, <laughs> it just by itself. <laughs> That's what it's meant to do, but ooh. um, so what I probably want to do is actually. and put that somewhere else maybe over there and put Izzy's there well actually no probably Izzy's is better there where it was screen over here. Now that we've got these screens. Okay, so you're going to be called Auto Crafting. Um, do I have anything in my blueprints that's got disease on it? the asteroid base does um, the helicopter and well that'll do Ah, 
That worked. Did leave a little bit of stuff behind. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Right. Um, so... Let's just turn this down a little bit, the brightness. <clears throat> Does it find it? Oh, there we go. One hundred. Okay. Let's just get rid of a whole lot of stuff first. Come back to that data pad, ignore, detector, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need any of that. Ignore, interior plates, large steel tube, we don't need any of that. Go ignore ignore middle grid So my brain just stopped working for a second there because I was just thinking what if you've got this connected up to other stuff to the rest of the grid you might need to do it some other way which would be have these containers as special and make sure that they're always full and that they are ignored and that way it will always pull in what it needs so there's ways around that so I won't I won't worry about that Oops. Okay. That should sort itself out in a sec. Right. Let's do some additions. And uh, yeah, hopefully this. I think once this gets to the next projection, I'll probably pull the pin there for today because it's already been <laughs> for four and a half hours, but boy, time flies. And you're having fun. Okay, so steel tubes. Where's my calculator gone? So we need 880 plus 160 plus 4524 plus. Uh, 20 plus 150 plus no that's it so 5734 I think I copied that Yes, it did. Okay, so that'll do its thing. Then the next thing is construction components. Whoops. Oh no, that's what I wanted to do. Silly me. Construction components. So we've got 24 plus 20 plus 40 plus... 380 
plus 30. 494. Four construction components. What? Why? 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 Why did that not save? Oh, because I'm in the wrong thing? I'm in the wrong thing. Need to go in here. There we go. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, I've forgotten now. 4785 Nuts. Um Can we oh can we go back? Oh uh five seven three four. Yeah, it's on the wrong screen. Oh g'day Wookie. Five, seven, three, four. Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, not working. No, not today. Well, working on this. Uh, but tomorrow there won't be any areas at war. Okay, so that's good. Um, where am I going? Okay, so construction component, interior. Interior. Did I just get that other one right? Yep, yeah, 5734. Okay, so interior plates. We want 40 plus um, 266 plus 20. Is that all? Yep. 3, 2, 6. Interior plates. Three two six. Okay. And then uh, I am in creative. Uh, but this will run in survival. So I'm just setting this up to, to do stuff. So it can be self sufficient. So that'll be the test whether it works in survival. Um, so interior plates. So computers, 20. Just 20 for the connector. Okay. So motors. How many is that? Eight. Oops. So motors, we want eight plus... Uh, 114 plus 6 128 in 20 computers okay So that just leaves the small steel tubes. Which small steel tubes? Well, keep missing it. Small steel tubes. Oh, Two hundred twenty-eight. Two twenty-eight plus twenty plus twelve. Two hundred sixty. Two hundred and sixty. Oops. Oh gosh. Okay, so that should be working through all of that. Reasonable pace. 
Um, get rid of the speed modules off there. And then... Hmm. Take a photo of that. And bring it up on the other computer. Uh, on my other thing. Library. Let's see. Okay, just make that a bit bigger. Uh, because what I'll do is I will make that stone. We going forward let's go forward why is it not drilling it's stuck on something what's it stuck on stuck on the projector. Who left that there? Um. So where is that projection coming from? It's coming from all the way there. So that one's... I think... This needs to be off. Okay, we need to re revisit this, so... Let's go and rename that, do that, okay, yes, we need to turn you on, and we need to go into here, and we need to add the blueprint for, and yes, okay, we need to turn you off. So the previous one will be on. Yeah, okay. Uh, blueprint that again. Rename it. Like so, and put it into this one. The one that's turned on. Uh, and the one that's turned off. Okay, let's just... Ooh, stop. We need to put in some button panels, I think. Some big red buttons. Hmm, okay. Right, turn you on. So the projectors need floor. Uh, oh, which one did it? Okay, that one. Floor. Turn you off. Okay. Right. I think we're sweet now. Okay. Uh, we'll just get that going again. Uh, start. Okay. Okay. That should be good. Right. Uh, so this one. I will call special. Do I need one of those on? One of those? I forget. Okay. Uh, special. 
special, special, special Helen. Swording. I oh, know how I know. Because it's in the. It'll show up. Yes, okay, that worked. Right, uh, computers, 20. Uh, construction, 494. Uh, interior, 326. And motors, 138. And, oh, why did you turn off my other computer? Motors, small steel tube. 260 and steel plate 5734 okay so that's got more of that in there now awesome okay and so that's got everything it needs yeah so it's a bit to get going <laughs> um, okay so I think how far are we yeah we're not too far away I think we will save and go into Uh, survival mode and that'll be that oh, I'm liking I'm liking these lights I'm liking the lights in survival mode make sure everything gets welded there it goes okay that was good you're all welded um, stuff is remanufacturing Cool. So if you're doing this on console and you don't have access to Izzy's because it's a script, then basically that's what you need to keep available. So it might just be a case of um, if I was to go into let's put it on a different grid. If I went into this one maybe. So probably what it means, and we'll go back into this, is to go in here and figure out what you need. So whether that is dialing all of those up, so put the whole lot in, whatever you need. Uh, it's not that, but... Um, so say that's the list then you would just have it uh, repeat mode and then when it gets to the end it will just repeat back so that's that's how you would overcome it in Izzy's um, it would keep going though it would keep going so a way around that might be that you have a limit on say the container that it goes in that maybe you put a sorter in that says only ingots are allowed out past this and that you have uh, that you have you figure out how full this container is 4% 4% well, that's not much um, but 
yeah, you, you have that set, and when the event controller senses that it's full, it will stop. Uh, it will turn off the assembler. So that could be a thing as well. So, so there's Xbox ways around it. Uh, I'm not going to do that because my methodology for consoles is that I play for PC and I make for PC if I can make decisions that won't negatively impact on console players then I will make try and make those decisions uh, but I'm also not going to go out of my way completely to um, make it so a console player can play it uh, yeah so that's that so what I'm thinking now is that this area up here could be sort of a little bit of a habitation -y type area so just while we're sort of going through the last few things so that we could put some floor in for instance uh, in fact if I want to use this floor, yeah I'll use this floor So I'm thinking maybe there wants to be some stairs. That would make sense. Just need to be careful that I don't double tap and delete something that I don't want to delete. Uh, tell you what, let's get rid of you. Actually, I might just save. <laughs> I might just save again. You and we'll put that in there, that in there. Whoa, gosh, that gives me the heebie jeebies when it moves like that. I mean, it's good, it's working by itself, but heebie jeebies. Okay, and that wants to be like. Some stairs up like so, and I'll put a door in here. Don't have a door. Why do you do that to me? Okay, so that'll be good like that. Oops.
Okay, here we don't. We're getting there. So, okay, so that's all welded up, so that worked. So how many more pushes? I oh, don't know, there's many. It's going to be for another day. Uh. So you got this area through here. Maybe you need to be ladder. quite well. Sorry about the noise. Out over there. Uh, let's just check that gear to you and those are fine. So it will need an external power supply, that's a thing. of the terminal in the toolbar. Yeah, that's all fine. Right, how are we looking? 8.6. Okay, that's it. That's it. Right. Uh, let's just use that button. So let's just stop the drill. Okay. So we'll save it here. And we will go into create uh, survival mode and we'll start her up again. So I'm going to have to get some energies and flying fuel. So 
if this works, then that will be us today. Two point two. Okay, nearly there. Okay, the thing will be does that print one that's turned off? That will be the thing. Does it all work? Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. I might actually change those to conveyors. But Come on, drills. Come on, drills. So the other thing I'll need to do at some point is probably put a whole lot of merge blocks on here that enables the pistons to be in the blueprint. So that they all work together. Okay, that's moved. And it's turned back on again. What? Okay, one more push. Okay, we're not quite there. But you guys, distance. You're fully out though. Okay, so is the next one. Okay, so that's on. Okay, so next time. There's one short. Next time it'll reset. Sorry people. A little bit premature. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to set up these in such a way that I can have a merge block on here. So same 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 as this. So like like I've done here these temporary parts that you grind off um, I have to do the same for this so that we can get the pistons because that was a workaround that was needed as well so basically oh, I'm in the wrong mode but um, that you could go like So like that. So I have to do that with all the pistons. Uh, and probably to the base as well. Tie it down to the base. Did I get out of here? I did. Uh, yeah, so that's just... So then you can print it in survival. Because it was designed to be printed in survival. So it's all good. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to need a bit of resource. But of course, you know, this is... You can get the resource out of it. That one it was never intended to get any resource, the original. Whereas this you can get the surplus resource. Which how much have we got? I mean look, we've got a lot. <laughs> so that's uh that's gonna be fine. Um Yeah. So that's that. And you know, it might be a case of just pasting it all in creative mode and then figuring it all out and all that sort of carry on. Uh oh, I can't see need to get out of that. Sorry, I've been... I don't know if anybody said anything, but... I've been outside. Oh, there we go. Um... Wait, what repeat mode? Uh... Oh. You're talking about the assembler? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, that's working. It's working. It's turned off. That's the important thing. That's coming up. Yeah, um, assemblers have got repeat modes. See, this could do being a bit, bit quicker, but it's only every, what, half hour, hour or something that it does it? So. But if this works, that means it's worked. It should be all fine after this, as long as it resets. Da, 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 
da, da. You're off here. I really could do being a bit quicker this one. But let's not tempt it. Thing is, if I speed it up because I'm reversing it, it can muck things up a little bit. Especially with a reset. It's one thing you have to be careful of with the pistons, is that you don't... The complicated is, is enough, and if you're not careful, you can end up speeding things up when you don't want to, or send them in the wrong direction. Yeah, there we go. That's coming back. Is that grinder? Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. We need to get rid of you. We need to go into there. Okay, so that's good. Uh, why isn't that? Uh, still hasn't gone far enough back. Why is that? Almost oh, fell in the hole. Okay, so it still hasn't gone far enough forward. should not be a problem because when it does the reset see the pistons on let's extend are unlocked aren't they when it does that I'll just double check that unlock is there something that's stopping it no ok I might just restart and So all these pistons 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 because they should be pushing that all the way out ok let's restart because we'll need to put that welder in the right place anyway So I'll just need to make sure, maybe I restarted the game and I didn't change that setting. Okay. Uh, we're all good starting up here because I still needed to do an initial, another push. So, let's get rid of you all. in there instead oh, I'm still in that mode okay uh, welder okay and then Reset one. Set up actions. Let's remove them and put them on again to make sure that they are indeed unlocked. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, 
They are extending. They are turned on. Okay, and we'll see what happens, because that shouldn't be... Reset rig. Start. Okay, so number two will turn you off. Just so it gives a bit of time to do its thing. Yeah, that shouldn't be getting stopped by anything. Unless it's the projector. But that shouldn't stop it. Maybe if I turn the connector around the other way. That might help. Yeah, I'll turn, I'll turn that around quickly. Uh, hopefully it doesn't cause me any troubles by dropping that. I should have named it as well last time. Whoops. See, it isn't quite over it. Hmm. Maybe that's a mistake from last time. Things that should be pushing all the way up. So that's already reached. Okay, what we might do is just... need to sort out the various groups so event uh, to the safe to connect add and we've got the timer which is going to be the rig reset so it's going to be unlock 
And then... It's going to be lock. Pretty sure that was it. Eeky. I think those are the only things that that affected. You're free of that, you're free of that. Okay. Back into here. And we'll save that again. Hopefully this time, hopefully, it all works. So I've got, that's the number two turned off. Okay, so we can just check. I don't know why it wouldn't be coming all the way up. Because this is the thing, it's the, I've got them set. That that should be 50 meters. And so that it pushes all the way at 50 meters. And then retracts all the way. So that should... I mean, the way around that would be to put another... Instead of a lock to the connector, you could have it that it's below 1%. Oh, we'll just see what it looks like. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, and then, then I'm going to call it, I think, whether this works or not, because it's getting quite late. It's been a big old, it's been a big old uh, build, this. I mean, what, we're up to, what, nine hours? Uh, and probably five of that was sorting our time, as it felt like, but, um, yeah, that's, it's, it's come up okay. just about be there almost come on okay there it goes got that welding okay so that's fully extended now I saw it move so let's just double check these pistons Piston tether okay so you're at 8.6 you're at 8.6 8.6 8.6 8.6 8.5 which is correct because it is 8.6 times 5 equals plus 8.5 equals 51.5 and then the minimum is 6 times 0.25 equals 1.5 so that's 50 meters is the difference and that's fully extended so when it retracts it should retract all the way unless something is preventing that from happening so let's turn you back on and you are counting down what number is that? that two Okay, so, oh, that hasn't locked. Why haven't they locked? Two. Oh, because I missed those off of there. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tether reverse. Let's. Which one is the tether safe to connect off? Okay, that's where it was before. Let's go into that one there. So we need to add the landing gears in there. Uh, so that needs to lock. Okay, and we will lock them now, because that's what should have happened. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just reverse this, the pistons. And just see where it ends up and just double check their different settings but yeah this I just don't understand why it would be short but yeah it'll be fine so it's not going to connect on there so, yeah, we just need it. It'll be fine. Okay. That's good. That's turned off. Oh, there go. Okay, too close. So, that's how far out it was. As long as it's consistent. It doesn't need to be right in the middle. As long as it's enough to actually connect... So, um, yeah, so I'll, uh, as I say, I'll pull the pin in very, very shortly. So thanks, everybody, for, for joining in today and spotting all the things I missed and all the help and everything. It's been good. And just have some, some community to chat to while I'm doing this big build has been really quite cool. It's been awesome. Okay, that's, that's exactly where it was when it left last time. So that's fine. That is fine. So if I was to turn you back on, what's going to happen? Uh, that just started up by itself, which is good. It's gone. It's going again. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Fantastic. So that's doing what it needs to do. And that'll work its way up. Happy with that. Happy with that. So yeah, it's only just going to be detailing and stuff now. That's all that's really left. Because I think fundamentally it works. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's good. So yeah, a lot bigger than the old one, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't have to be that big. I mean, it's, you're not going to run out of stone. <laughs> you're not going to run out of stuff, though. Um, but, yeah, and I, I quite like the, the nice look on the walls there. So, yeah. So that'll be me for today. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. And, uh, yeah, we'll be um, uh, Airs at War on Sunday. Uh, pretty confident I'll do that. We got close to home on Saturday morning. I'm not doing Aries at War tomorrow night. Um, and then there's something new on Monday morning. Watch this space. Well, not this space. Watch on my main channel. Cool, cool. All right. Thanks, everybody. We will catch you later. Oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Awesome. <laughs>